Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print on demand designs that sell. And be sure to stay tuned till the end of the video because I have another five bonus niches for you. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I created this design right here. This one says Yorkie Mom. And again, this is a nice design that you can scale out and can sell year round, year after year. So a good evergreen design. Yeah, and this is my listing right here. You can see Therapy Designs Yorkie Mom shirt. Um, and this one I made using Playground. So I've done several videos now using Playground. If you haven't checked it out, it is an AI design platform. It's available obviously on the internet. And then there's also an app for your smartphone. So you can do it that way too. And it is fun to play with. And it does take some playing with it. If you're not used to AI, it does take a little fiddling to kind of figure it out and decide, you know, what kind of works and what doesn't work. But I'm going to show you how I created this. So I'm going to jump over to playground right here and we'll kind of show you guys a bit. So, this is Playground and they've got a lot of different templates that are already made that you can then go ahead and edit. So there's logos, t-shirts, you know, art prints, posters, you've got, you know, cell phone, like wallpaper, mock-ups, stickers, virtual backgrounds. I mean, you name it, ebook covers, seamless patterns. So lots of different things, coloring book pages. Um, and so on and so forth. You can also just search for specific stuff up here. So let's say I wanted to put dog, I could just search all of the dog things and it will pull up dog things from any of these categories. Um, and so super easy to do. So if I was to go ahead and just put in dog, it's gonna pull up a bunch of dog template designs. And so any of these, it'll take a second to load, what we could do is then go in and use AI to edit it. Um, and so, it's pretty simple to use and there are always tons and tons of, you know, different designs and different design styles that you can play with. And so as I see, as I'm scrolling down, it'll tell you what it is. So this is mobile wallpaper, like here, there's a social media post, <laughs> stickers, uh, t-shirt design, um, you got your seamless patterns here. And so just lots of different fun pet things that you could do. Um, I'm going to go ahead because there's so many designs and just go to my design. So it'll show me everything that I have saved, um, which makes it a lot easier for me to find things, but otherwise you can search and there's tons of awesome, cool things. And so the one I was going to show you here, this was Aussie mom. That was the original design there. And again, it can be scaled out tremendously. So right now it is Aussie mom. And all I did for the design that I showed you was go ahead and changed it to Yorkie mom and you can change it to Chihuahua mom and you can change it to, you know, whatever Maltese mom, pick a dog mom. And so that's what I did super easy to use. And I didn't even have to change the style or anything, but you can. So some of you had some questions about um, the recent update. So what we can see down here is the model is 4.0. So that is the new update. If you were to click on that, you can switch back to version three. Um, so there's version three and then there's the 4.0 version. Um, fast, more images. This is, you know, higher quality, precise editing. So you can go back and forth between whichever you want. Um, and they each have different things that you can use. So when I'm on version three, which was the original version, it's a little bit easier to resize. So it gives you all of these resize options that aren't available in the version 4.0. Right now it's on the square, which is fine for the dog, but you can always resize there. Um, we can also change color palettes. We can change styles. So when we look at changing the style on the 3.0 version, obviously you can look and see what the different styles are going to be here. And so you can go through and pick one of these styles. And so lots of different things that we could play with if you wanted to change the style, but again, you don't have to. So those are all pretty cool. If we went back to the 4.0 version, right, the styles are going to be different. So now if I hit change style, it's going to show you styles of different templates. And so you can pick from these type of styles. And so just tons of different ways that you could go about editing this. There's really like 
no end to what you can do other than you know your imagination so you can be as creative as you want so playground again was a good name for it because you could play on here for hours um and once you get something that's working for you you can scale it out tremendously so this is one that i liked that i just decided to scale out so without even changing the style or anything i really liked the way it looked and so i just decided let's go ahead and just scale this out as is so from here all i would have to do would be something like um change to oops change to and i put yorkie mom yorkie mom and i went ahead hit this and it's going to change the text and it is going to change the graphics so that it all matches the yorkie mom and so there you can see when we did that we got the yorkie mom right there that came out now this is only going to give you the one version right so that's when you do this on the 4.0 now i can do this on the 3.0 and what i'm going to have is multiple versions come up so let's go ahead and take this from the 4.0 back over to the version 3 and on version 3 let's go ahead and change it to change to chihuahua mom and we'll try again and now this time it should give me different versions so usually it'll give you four different versions and then you can choose from that so that's kind of one of the benefits i think of the the version three is that it gives you more choices um so you can kind of you know go back and forth between the different versions because they offer different benefits and different pros and cons um and so give it a second and here you can see it gave me different versions of chihuahua mom and so it gives me ones where the texts are different where the chihuahua looks different and i can pick one and i can scroll through so i can say i'm not really fond of the way mom was written there so i can go ahead and try again this one's kind of cute i think it's cutting off the nose a little bit here's another one this one's kind of cute i do like the way that the text goes and then one more chihuahua mom eh. so i would say that this one here was my favorite um, and i could go ahead and you know download this or i could go ahead and try again um, and so just so many different ways you could do this um, or I could again go back to the original Yorkie Mom, Aussie Mom, and start from scratch. So I'm back on version 4.0. I'm gonna do one more here. I'm gonna go ahead and change to, let's say, a Westie. Westie Mom. And go ahead and hit that, and we'll see what comes up here. So this is what it came up with for Westy Mom. And so again, that is a really cute design. I really like it. And what I love about this particular one is that when I do the background remover to get rid of the black, it will also get rid of everything inside. And so what this will do is create um, something where we can see through it, which is what I had on Amazon. So you could see through it. So if I went back to my Amazon listing really quick, which was this one with the Yorkie mom, you can see the color goes all the way through it. And so we get these cool cutouts. And so, I mean, I showed you obviously on the purple, but there it is on the pink or on the darker colors here. And so you can see how I get that cool cutout look. And so I really liked that. So going back to playground, sorry, I'm going to go ahead from here. Let's say I wanted to, to use this one, I can go to export. And I can upscale and remove background. Now, if that doesn't work, because occasionally background removers have trouble, I'll just go ahead and download as is, and then I'll use the background remover on like Canva to do the background remover. So if there's ever an issue, there are ways around it. You got to know how to kind of troubleshoot everything. But I'm going to hit upscale, remove background. Should be pretty straightforward because it's just black and white, so it shouldn't be too complicated here. Right, perfect. And then once you've got that, we can just go ahead and hit download upscaled. Now, because this is on a dark background, you won't be able to see if it did it correctly until we go ahead and put it on a lighter background. So usually I'll go ahead and throw it on Canva anyways, just to make sure, or I'll change the background to a different color other than black, just so that I can make sure um, that I can see when it's erased. So for example, and I showed you this on another video too, if I just said change, background color to purple or green like a green screen 
right so here it is with the purple and so now if i was to go ahead go back to export go to upscale and remove background now i should be able to see pretty clearly if it removed everything because right now everything is purple so if it removed everything everything should now be black and so that's just a little trick i do to kind of make sure that the background is fully removed because occasionally you may think it is and then find out when you put it on a different color that some of the black didn't remove properly and so I just always want to be sure and it did perfectly so you can see it removed it all perfectly so there was no problems there i can go ahead hit download upscaled and then come back and i could continue to scale this out so from here i could change it from westy to anything else <laughs> right and if i ever wanted to leave here i could i mean i could go to explore and i could explore similar templates and it'll show you those and so if you're working on dog stuff you can go explore some of the similar dog templates and so we can see lots of cool dog stuff, right? Um, I can change it back to version three, by the way, and still go to explore. And again, look through here. Some of them may give you more options for photos, um, depending on which version you use. Um, I can also just go back to create and start here. And I can also go to my designs and scroll through my designs to find things easier. And so that's a lot simpler to do. Again, if I go to, let's go back to create and let's go back to t-shirts. We can see some of these that have a little pro version. You do have to have the pro account for, for, but a lot of these aren't pro. So a lot of these you can go ahead and use you know, for free. And because it's AI, you can do a lot with some of the free ones because I can just take this style and, you know, pretty much go to town with the AI to change up some of these. So lots of just cool free ones that you can see. So anything that doesn't have this little symbol on it is completely free to use. So if you haven't checked out Playground yet, I recommend checking it out. Um, I will have a link um, I'll have a link in the description below this video. I always do, but then I'll also go ahead and post a link in the comments to make it easy for you guys to find so you can check it out. It is very fun to play with. Um, and so if you're like me and you just really enjoy being creative and designing, then this can be a really fun thing that you can totally get lost in playing with all of these. Um, and I know that some people are kind of iffy still on the AI thing. Still, most of my designs I don't use AI for, but I'm starting to get a little bit more comfortable with AI. It's obviously not going anywhere. And some of these are just really cool designs that you can get a lot more done a lot faster by using AI. Um, once you, you know, find a design that you like and then you're able to scale it out the way that you want. And so go ahead, take some time, look through here. Even if you don't design anything, looking through here can give you some good ideas as well in terms of some of the styles and things that are popular. So even if you wanted to try to design it on your own, just looking through here may give you some, you know, oh, you know, I like that niche or I like that design style. So I always like to look through as many things as I can to get ideas and whatnot. Anyways, <laughs> I could go on forever, but... Um, in the sake of time let's not because you guys were so patient and you did wait until the end of the video i will go ahead and share with you another five bonus evergreen niches so without any more waiting these are your five evergreen niches so number one don't scare me i fart easily uh just a really silly one and i've seen different versions of this too i've seen like baby onesies that say don't scare me i poop easily um and i've even seen it done for like a halloween style niche for babies but a lot of you know silly things like that number two the math whisperer and of course you know this is for math teachers but there's nothing that would stop you from substituting the word math for just about anything right number three Emotional support teacher, do not pet, All right? Just another funny one. Number four, I still read children's books. Again, that could be something good for like a kindergarten teacher or something like that, preschool teacher. And number five, annoying each other since 1995. And that could be something like an anniversary shirt for couples. Now, the cool thing about 
anniversary shirts or couple shirts is that you typically sell more than one, right? So typically you'll sell for the couple, so they'll buy two at a time. So if you wanted to do anniversary shirts, honeymoon shirts, um, things like that, where you do like the group shirts, you can get a lot of sales at once. And so that's pretty cool as well. And this is one, obviously you could scale out, but you could also sell it on Etsy and go ahead and just make it personalizable and they can just select the year. Um, so lots of different ways that you can go ahead and design for these and then try to market them. If you have any questions or comments, you can throw those in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are doing really well with your designs and your sales, continuing to grow your skills and your portfolio. And of course, I do hope to see you again. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.